Good morning, midlifers, and happy hump day. I hope you all find yourself happily humped. I know I'm always looking for a hump, not even on a Wednesday. But anyway, it's the day before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Everybody's all like, oh, I'm so thankful for this, and I'm thankful for that, and all thinking about what they're thankful for. Why? I'm thankful every day. Every day I wake up and my eyes ping open and I, oh, yep, I'm awake, I'm alive. Woohoo! I'm thankful. So, were you not thankful last week or last month? Will you not be thankful next week? No, we need to be thankful every day. Every day life is a gift. I recently lost a best friend of mine of 30 years. We've been through so much together, camping, vans, husbands, divorces, kids, and now she's gone. And I was kind of sad about it. It was very unexpected. And, oh, Thanksgiving's going to suck without her. But then, you know what? No. Nope. She lived her life. She, it was her time to go. I'll see her someday. I have faith. I believe in that. Meanwhile, as midlifers, and our worlds are changing with the economy and jobs and securities of life, we're losing people, the dynamics of families are changing, the kids are growing up and want their own world to you know, be in their own happy little world. Life's changing and evolving. The trick is not to get depressed and caught up in that and thinking that everything's going to be the same. No, nothing's ever going to be the same. You have to learn to roll with the punches of life. Be flexible. Not get caught up in traditions that everything's going to be exactly the same. No, no. That's why you're all depressed. There's so many depressed people. It just drives me crazy. Why are you all depressed? You woke up today. Yep, all right, some of it's genetic and a chemical imbalance. Go seek medical attention for that if that's you. But the rest of you are depressed? What are you depressed about? You have to learn to roll with the punches of life and not worry about it. Maybe it's because I lost a uterus a few years ago, but I used to get so worked up and so worried about jobs and money and security, and I was like, ah, frustrated all the time, and now, ah, whatever. I don't sweat it. Somehow there's going to be food on this table and a roof over my head. There always was. I'm sure there always will be somehow, some way. We have to stop getting caught up in the material things. Oh, uh, what, you're depressed because you're going to be turning 50 and you didn't get a house or you don't have your dream house or you don't have a friggin' Lexus in the driveway? Whatever. You're not living, people. Those, those, those of you like that, you're not living. I have a house full of secondhand shit. When I left Pennsylvania and walked away from a bad marriage 10 years ago, I came back with nothing. And now I have a house full of secondhand stuff. But you know what? Everything you see around me is a treasure. I love it. It's just stuff. It's just stuff. I can't take it with me. Whatever. Whatever. See, this This makes me happy. This is my treasure. Some people need diamond rings. I got my Zappa mug. Signed by Dweezel. The, 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 when I introduced my daughter to Frank Zappa's son, and he signed my coffee cup, this is my treasure. Who needs, who needs pools and diamond rings and fur coats and big swanky bathrooms? People, you got to put all the material things aside and forget about it. Stop worshipping material things. Worry about the human down the street or the human next door or the old lady across the street that might need a hot meal tomorrow. Walk, walk across the street and bring her something to eat. You know, and all you other people, you idiot, that tomorrow at 4 o'clock in the morning you're, you're going to spend all Thanksgiving worried about getting to Target or Walmart at 4 o'clock Friday morning for Black Friday. You're going you're gonna to get caught up in the commercialism of standing in line to buy something supposedly on sale, made in crap made in China, uh, for a Christmas gift. So the same country that wants to take religion out of everything and you can't say Merry Christmas or put up a Christmas tree, they want you to go out and support the economy by buying Christmas presents. The world is so full of contradictions and hypocrisy, it just drives me crazy. I can't even say the word, but whatever. It drives me crazy how hypocrites you all are. You have to learn just to lay back and chill, babies, and just be happy with what you got. Life is simple. And as midlife is in our changing world, some of you are sitting home depressed and bored. Why? Why? Get up, get dressed, go outside that door and go find something to do. Go to a local jam. Go meet people. Go to a singles dance. Go to Dunkin' Donuts and talk to some person sitting by themselves drinking coffee. Whatever. There's no reason to sit home and be depressed. As midlifers, making it to this point that we're here and there's no security and no guarantee about tomorrow, we're allowed to reinvent ourselves. We can reinvent ourselves every day if we want to. If I want to put on a purple feather boa and go to the supermarket, and yeah, you know what? I can do that, and it's funny. If I want to dance around in my underwear, which I do, 
don't tell anybody, but I do do that. When, you know, I start to feel the little blues because that's a normal part of aging, feeling the blues, I crank up the radio and I dance around in my underwear. And I pretend I'm this gorgeous hunk stripper girl doing a strip tease. I don't care. Makes me happy. Music always makes me happy. So anyway, people, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Don't get caught up in traditions and trying to make everything exactly what it was like the magic when we were kids. You can't ever re reproduce that magic, so don't get caught up in it. Find a little something that makes you happy. Go out there and smile at somebody and make them happy. Change some day. Don't get caught up in the bullshit. So what else is going on with you, huh? Anything good? If you'd like to send me an email at Betty B. Bop, B E T T E B. Bop at yahoo.com. Send me an email. Tell me what you want to talk about. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I am looking forward to it. I just love to cook, and I'm having people over tomorrow just so I can cook for them because I get passion in cooking. And as someone who lives alone, I never get to cook for people, so I'm excited about that. That to me is exciting. I'm invited all the nuts I know to come share some nuts on the table because sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you do. Anyway, I really sincerely wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. And I'm hoping you all keep focused on the fact that we're thankful every day. Life's a gift, babes. Life's a gift. Enjoy it. Go do something silly. Happy Thanksgiving, people. Woo! Enjoy it. Yeah, babies.